This is Max Williams with United Real Estate. Today, we're in the city of Richmond. More specifically, we are in the Maymont Park section. Today, we're gonna to take a look at a three bedroom, two bath bungalow. As you can probably tell, we are raining out here today. And uh, as with many parts of my business, I don't like things getting in my way. Uh, if I put my mind to doing something, uh, that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm trying to find a way around whatever obstacle or challenge may be in front of me. And uh, so today we're gonna be walking around here with the umbrella, a little bit difficult to maneuver, but uh, we're gonna make it happen. Uh, I really wanted to bring this one to you uh, because it is a renovated property. And renovated properties, in my opinion, fall into three categories. Uh, one category would be where someone goes in and basically does just the minimum to get the house into habitable condition or in condition where it will appraise with no problems. And when I say appraise with no problems, uh, if a home is being purchased with financing, that appraiser is looking for certain things. Uh, VA and FHA appraisals are more strict than conventional appraisals. And something as small as a little bit of peeling paint on exterior trim will keep a house from appraising. Uh, they will red flag it and they'll say, this has to be taken care of because the house does not meet VA or FHA standards. So something that small can keep a house from being appraised as far as getting the green flag from the appraiser. Uh, so if it doesn't meet the standards, that means someone can't get that type of financing. The middle of the road type of rehab is when somebody comes in and does a nice job and the home is in very good condition when they finish uh, someone will go in and say wow this home looks really good and then the third and final category and we don't see this too often is when someone goes into a home and they just go over the top they deliver a lot more than what would be expected for a home in the neighborhood and it really shines uh, this home is definitely going to be that latter category uh, there's some features in this home that we don't see in homes that are twice this price range and i'll point uh, one of them in particular out to you so you can see from the exterior we've got a good looking front elevation and uh, this home is professionally staged and professionally designed so we're gonna take a look here i'm gonna kick my shoes off because uh, it is pretty nasty out we want to keep this home looking as good as new okay when we come in we of course have a nice open floor plan we've got an lvp lvp type material actually this actually may be wood now that i look at it uh, i love the recessed lights that we have a nice stylish ceiling fan here wood ceiling fan that's unusual and plenty of natural light flows in here these are going to be replacement windows um, i just absolutely love what they did here in the kitchen and then we're going to talk about some of the detail there on that wall all right let's start here in our kitchen we of course have a nice long island this is probably a good nine or ten feet uh, notice the contrasting cabinets that's a, a trend that we see in a lot of homes we have the brown there on the island and then our main cabinets are white here on the opposite side i've got a gorgeous subway tile style backsplash and 42 inch soft close cabinets look at this gorgeous quartz that is just a beautiful color there beautiful species and it picks up on the gray uh, and the brown here uh, in the island got a nice deep double bowl sink and this home cooks with natural gas we've got a five burner there and look at that y'all we have a pot filler okay you do not see pot fillers in 12 and 1300 square foot homes this is extremely rare we've got the beautiful stainless vent hood there and then here to our left we have a separate space here with refrigerator with ice and water in the door now here's something that gives it a really nice custom look we have the side here on that side and on the opposite side so we see plenty of rehabs where that fridge would just simply be uh, against the wall and then you may have a cabinet 
over uh, on the top. But uh, little finishes like that really set this rehab apart. We're now in the utility room or the mud room section. Your stack unit would go right there. Actually, you could do a uh, side-by-side unit. You could do any type of washer dryer you want. You've got plenty of space here. Uh, I see this space on this side as potentially being a nice storage area. You could do a locker or some shelving there, but plenty of space here in this utility room. All right, let's go back out and here to the right, look at the detail we have here in this wall. This is really nice. I love what they did uh, here in this space. I'm gonna give you a shot here from the corner. And one of the, the great things I love about Richmond real estate is that no matter what price range you have, no matter what size you're looking at, uh, whether it be single family, townhomes, condos, uh, you just have so much variety here in the housing stock. Okay, we are now in the primary bedroom. This is going to be closet number one here. And fortunately, we have two closets, which is extremely rare in a house this size. So very nice touch there uh, two windows great natural light we have that recessed lights once again a ceiling fan our heating and air system is new and we have our main closet right here so we've got two closets uh, this one being a walk-in so really nice to have that storage space i'm going to give you a shot here from this window we um are of course raining out but we do have a little patio area and that is actually a covered there so you can keep uh, the sun off of you storage building in the rear and we are of course on a corner lot okay here to my right is going to be our ensuite and look at this they did an amazing job here with the tile work here in this beautiful oversized walk-in shower on the opposite side we've got a double vanity really good looking top there dual mirrors and some natural light that flows in as well. Wow, they really did a great job in making this look good. Uh, all these colors and finishes um, really come together. You can tell a professional did this. This wasn't just uh, a rehabber who uh, wanted to take on a little project and threw some colors and, and uh, finishes together. Somebody really uh, had some talent and skill here to make this home uh, look the way it does. Okay, we are now gonna take a look at our secondary bedroom wing, and we are right here. We're gonna start here at the end. This is going to be bedroom number two. We're of course here in the middle of the house, but we still do have that natural light that flows in. Nice neutral colors here. This is a, a really light gray. Uh, you can tell the contrast there between the trim and the drywall. Our closet right there. We've got a little access panel. Uh, this is good because if you ever need to access the plumbing, uh, that panel there would go against that, but uh, it's, it's good uh, if you ever have any needs to uh, get some work done that they don't have to uh, disturb the drywall. To the right is going to be our hall bath. Notice we've got the same color family here throughout, but we've got different finishes here, which I like to see It gives each room its own personality they just didn't come in and throw the same uh, finishes in every single room so we've got nice uh, finishes once again in here ceramic tile on the floor and a nice deep linen closet uh, in this bathroom as well all right i'm gonna now take you to i love the digital thermostat because you can dial in your your temperature exactly where you want it you don't have to squint and try to figure out what your temperature is with some of those old fashion type thermostats this space i love as a home office because if you wanted to work here you could have a desk chair set up and you could look right out over the front of the home so a great location here if you work from home or have the need for a home office uh, to make it work right here you can sit right here and uh, see your amazon packages show up on a daily basis wow this is a really good looking house special thanks to ray rivera my buddy in real estate who was kind enough to allow us to come in and take a look at this gorgeous home if you have questions about this or any other home in the market my name is max williams it would be an honor for me to help i can reach on facebook 
under Richmond Area Foreclosures on YouTube under my name, Max Williams Realtor. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks so much for taking the tour. Y'all be safe. Have a great day.